I don't know about you, but do you ever feel like DBAs don't get enough love? Yeah, our engineers thought so too, actually. Uh, so that's why they came up with this new feature for our 4.0 release. My name is Andrew Miller, Rubric Technical Marketing, and... I am Kenny To of Rubric Engineering. And we are excited to walk through Live Mount for SQL Server, a brand new feature in Rubric 4.0. First, what is it? As you might have guessed, it is the ability to live mount a SQL database directly from Rubric. This is, of course, if you are using Rubric to back up your SQL databases. This is, of course, similar to VMware live mount, but not quite the same in that we're using SMB v3 rather than NFS. Where it is similar, though, is in its simplicity. As we've added more features to Rubrik, we've tried to keep them simple to use. And of course, it leverages our underlying Atlas file system to promote blocks to flash for performance. That leads us directly into the how of how it works. Do you mind walking through that a little bit more, Kenny? So here we have a Rubrik cluster and a SQL Server host. Uh, in the Rubrik cluster, we have the Atlas distributed file system, the Cerebro data management layer, and a little connector on the SQL Server host itself. And of course, the connector is what talks to SQL Server, manages the incremental forever nature of the backup, pulls the data down into Rubrik, tracked, of course, by Atlas and Cerebro. But from that point, the restore process could still take a while for large databases, right? Uh, yeah, traditionally, this would take hours and hours copying you know, hundreds of gigabytes across the network. Uh, but now with the SQL Live Mount feature, we can actually materialize the SQL files directly onto the Atlas file system here. And we expose them out as an SMB3 mount uh, to the SQL Server host. Uh, and then our connector is actually able to automatically bring the database online. And this is something that we're able to do because our connector is highly integrated with the SQL Server host. So let me make sure I understand. If you're backing up your SQL databases with Rubrik, what do you need to do in order to use this feature come upgrade to 4.0? Uh, you don't actually have to do anything. Uh, this is just a feature that's available if you're backing up your SQL database with Rubrik. And that is exactly the point. Now that leads us into the why. You know, the why do you care? Because this is actually a really cool capability. But more importantly, what can it do for you? This could also be called use cases, of course, right? So first, there's capabilities around ad hoc queries. Kenny, do you mind walking through that? Uh, sure. Uh, so one such ad hoc query would be a use case like selective restore. So suppose just a few rows of the database are corrupt. It doesn't really make sense to wait for a full restore in order to recover just those few rows. So with our live mount feature, you can instead run an ad hoc query just to get the few rows that, are, that need to be recovered uh, and export those back into the production database. Uh, and likewise, uh, there, are, there are use cases like uh, digging through history. And so sometimes a CIO wants to know when a certain piece of data changed. Uh, it would, this would take a really long time if you had to uh, do full restores of uh, multiple snapshots. Uh, but instead, with our live mount feature, you can actually just mount multiple snapshots at the same time and go through each of them to f identify exactly what you're looking for. I was chatting with a DBA friend about this feature, actually, and he was telling me that when they had these kind of requests literally from the CIO, they didn't even have enough storage space to be able to do this. It was just about impossible. The next one is around health checks. So from a SQL perspective, there's the infamous dbcc -check db command, right? And you have to go in. Often, there's a requirement to validate your backups, that you can't go and just take a backup without validating it. So with Rubrik, you can have an external script, because everything in Rubrik can be called via an API. Create a live mount, run the dbcc -check db db command, and then, of course, pass that off in whatever way you want to notify the administrator. Related to that is the third one that we're going to talk about today, and this would be disaster recovery. In the event of a DR scenario, if you have your Rubrik databases replicated from your primary to your disaster recovery site, but say that you don't actually have your storage there yet, you can actually directly run SQL databases off of Rubrik until you get your primary storage brought online. Now, let's be clear. We are not meant to be primary storage because we are a cloud data management company. We're focused on being close to the application, on being close to the data. But in the end of disaster recovery scenario, we do actually see some use cases here that could make sense. And the final use case would be around test dev, which I think you know a little bit about. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, updating production is actually one of the scariest moments of my life because there are schema changes and data migrations that can break the entire app uh, and cause a lot of trouble for everybody. Uh, so ideally, what we'd like to do is test these changes before we roll them out. Uh, but this is historically difficult. I mean, I often can't even provision the hardware or the storage to run at such a test. Uh, but now with Rubrik's Live Mount feature, 
life is actually a lot easier. I can, in fact, instantiate a cloud instance of the SQL Server and live mount into that. Mm -hmm. Then I can run this test on the real production data. And this is actually a very strong guarantee to me that since it's using the real data, if this test passes, then I'm very confident that my attempt to roll uh, update production will be successful. It feels like we are just scratching the surface here. This is a very unique capability to essentially get for free out of your backups. And we're excited to see how our customers use it. Thank you.